of what you're saying without even speaking? Hello, my name is Rana Najm and I'm author of When in the Arab World, an insider's guide to living and working with Arab culture. Body language and gestures say volumes and mean completely different things in different settings and in different cultures. Are you aware of the message that you're sending without even speaking or without even intending it? Let me go over some of the messages that you're sending with your body language and with certain gestures in this part of the world. First of all, be aware when you're sitting in a meeting, don't slouch in your chair. That conveys a message of nonchalant or that you really don't care or even disrespect. It'll be conveyed as, as rude, so avoid that. Sit up straight. Um, and I'm sure you've heard a lot about this. You're not supposed to cross your legs in such a way where the sole of your uh, shoe is facing somebody else. That is considered very disrespectful and very rude. So keep both feet on the floor. And eye contact. Make eye contact when you're speaking with someone. That conveys a message of uh, trust and sincerity. However, that rule changes if you are a male speaking with a female or if you are talking to someone who is more senior than you either by age or in ranking then prolonged eye uh, contact it conveys a message of disrespect and can be seen even as confrontational Dalian realized that when she was working in the more conservative society in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, she realized how not making that prolonged eye contact was a message of respect. When she spoke with uh, some of the Saudi men that she worked with, even the more senior ones to her in, in terms of ranking and position would not look her straight in the eye. That would be seen as very disrespectful and confrontational. And there are a lot of different gestures that we do that mean different things. I'm going to tell you, let me see, the ones that you'll see more, uh, more commonly used. Um, this one, which means, you will hear this with shway, shway, which is the Arabic word for meaning slowly, slowly, calm down, it's happening. <laughs> Um, while this in other cultures means perfect or excellent, in the Arab culture it actually means just you wait until I get to you. You'll find that parents use this with their children as a, as a term of warning them. If you don't stop what you're doing, you're going to get in trouble. So be careful how you use this one. And then if you're in a restaurant, sometimes you'll find this um, or this, which means this means the money or bring me the check. This also means the check as well. I can't think of any other gestures that come to my mind right now. If there are any that come to your mind and you're wondering what it means, write to me, let me know what you think. Oh, and before I go, don't be alarmed by this stern, grumpy look that you will find on a lot of uh, the faces of Arab men in particular. It's not a sign of unfriendliness, it's just a sign of manliness. So don't be alarmed by that. Tell me, what are some of the gestures that are unique to your own culture? I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening. Salam.